Hello and welcome to this video playing Fibonix with black. Uh, another Petrov. Uh, I'd like to practice it. I'd like to practice this opening. And not scoring badly. Ooh, it's not very exciting. <laughs> yeah, it is the Kromnik, Kromnik Caruana line. From the candidates yeah how do you play that with black i did not study this yet not sure how Carmana played that i'm just going to play normal moves and see what happens okay so if i take and castle short is that I mean, it cannot be much for white, but uh, maybe he's, he's got a little pull there. Let's see. His bishops are a little bit more active. But it cannot be the end of the world. My idea is to play um, c6, blunting this bishop. So c6. And yeah, do I have anything better than bishop f8? Yeah, probably not. But it's not a big deal. Just have to be a little bit of patience here in this position. Then it should be possible to equalize completely. So if I go rook d7, rook d8, d5, there's nothing going on, I think. What is he doing there? Piling up on the d, d pawn, maybe. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying that I cannot go rook d8 and a6 as the a pawn is hanging. Mm, that is a bit annoying. And he's got bishop f4, increasing this a little bit, this pressure. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I mean, if he goes bishop f4, I still have rook d8. So it's not an immediate threat here, not not really. Bishop f4, I can still play rook d8. My long term idea is h5, bishop h6. Took me a long time. Trading, trading the least active pieces. Standard idea, okay. So the structure changes. Oh, very interesting. He plays it well. Yeah, he plays an interesting, plays in an interesting way. So what's going on here? Rook c8, rook d8. Mm, am I really worse there if I? If I just play this. I don't know. think so maybe I'm worse ok 
Okay, now if I take it and B6, I don't know, it should be okay. Maybe I'm still slightly worse. Well, he's got rook B4 things, but let's bring the king. I need the king. King d4, there is rook c2. Okay. Yeah, but it still doesn't threaten all that much. Rook b5, maybe. I don't know. I'm activating this one. Rook here. Yeah, I've got 32 seconds, but with the increment, that's such a big deal. Once he leaves the D file, I get rook D1 to kick the king away. I don't mind. Oh, d3 check doesn't lead to much. But here I'm threatening d3 check and the, the pawn is attacked. Okay. And another one. Is it actually good to trade the rook? That's a good question. But I think it is actually good because my rook is protecting every single pawn. That's nice. I don't get the a pawn though. Hmm. I forgot that he has rook a7. Really, really didn't pay attention to that. Twenty-eight seconds. Uh, B pawn is fast. So um, B two immediately or B two immediately or B five. I can move B two, right? It's better, a lot better. Yeah. It's actually still a bit of work. But I think I'm winning one of the pawns there, Queen G4. It's difficult for him to to, to keep those. That's a bit of a pain. He gets h5. Hmm. It's not that's not such an such an easy win considering the time. I know it looks a bit passive, but his rook is also stuck to the defense of the pawn. Okay. Well, 
that's that's a win now. Um, how do you win that again? Uh, check. Check. And that's it. No. Yeah. Whew, winning that is tough, but you know, this is kind of the nature sometimes of this opening. You're kind of defending and you're uh, keeping it equal and uh, mm, it doesn't look so attractive, but if you want a technical game, something slowish, you can sometimes win the endings. Uh, I mean, even here you definitely can argue that I was worse. I mean, this is a position where white is better. I def definitely didn't play the opening well. And here I'm, yeah, it's, it's just entirely defensive in nature. Don't know if I was really how much worse I was. Oh, just rook d8. That's very stupid. Hmm. I should do this. Huh? Hmm. And here it's just completely equal. Wow. Maybe he cannot take, yeah, because of I thought this, but, but okay, I just win the rook, of course. Yeah, yeah, that was, that's just equal. Yeah, after d5, c4, white is better. But somehow... Yeah, b4 is better here, huh? He didn't play b4. And this way I got here. I mean, white is still for choice. But he somehow, bung somehow bungled it up. I'm not quite sure where. Yeah, here it's already kind of okay, but I think the, I think f4, f4 was a weird move. Yeah, now I'm getting, now I'm just better, and, and win the pawn. Yeah, he didn't he didn't play the ending well. I wonder, however, if I could have played better here somewhere. Very likely, I could have. Rook B1 is a lot stronger, this and then D3, yeah, that's true, the pawn is actually very quick, yeah, Rook B2 next and I push it, yeah, that's better, and this is actually debatable if I'm winning, F6, that seems to be a mistake, Rook A6, well, that makes sense. I think dual purpose, cover, threaten, threaten, a5, huh? Yeah, it's also a draw. And here, maybe I still have slight chances. Rook d7, king a4. And now the b pawn should win. No, and, um, I should win. It's still a bit of work, but it is a winning position. Yeah, it uh, was a defensive. I had to defend the whole time, but somehow he did not play the ending well. Thanks a lot for watching.